Welcome back to Moving to Hampton Roads. Today's video is going to be an updated market report. It's been quite some time since we've done one, but there's been a major shift in the market and we absolutely need to talk about it. My name is David Tortellini, I'm with eXp Realty. I help people just like you buy and sell property throughout Hampton Roads every single day. So subscribe to this channel and then call, text, or email to get started. We would love to help you. All right, stick around and we're gonna talk about this very fast shifting market. We're gonna to start today's video by talking about the driving force behind this ever-shifting market, and I'm sure you know what it is, it's interest rates. So a year ago now, we were sitting around three, three and a half percent. Now interest rates are about seven. That makes a huge difference in your payment. So average sale price in Hampton Roads right now is 310,000. For use a nice round number, let's just say you take out a loan with principal amount three hundred thousand. Well, at three and a half percent, that's only about thirteen hundred and fifty dollars for principal and interest. At seven percent, that's about two thousand dollars a month. That's six hundred and fifty dollars worth of buying power that you've lost. So if you were maxing out your purchase power at three hundred thousand at three and a half percent, now you're purchase power brings you down almost down to 200,000. That is a massive difference. So fortunately before the market was so busy that you didn't see people maxing out. You're at least the people who were winning bids weren't maxing out because they were the people who were, had the ability to go above list price. They could guarantee cash above appraisal. They could had extra money set aside to do their own home inspection repairs. So it's not like those people were winning houses anyhow. But what we're seeing now are the people who had that ability no longer have it. So the market has tightened significantly because people's buying power has dramatically decreased. And you'd think that going from 3.5% to 7%, you know, how big a deal could it be? It's a very big deal, but it is on purpose. I mean, this was the point of raising interest rates was to slow down the market to try and balance inventory with demand. And that is really the struggle that we're coming across and that I think we're at the point where we're starting to see them come together. This interest rate around 7% is really what we needed uh, in order to balance the supply and demand issue that we're having. So let's talk about supply. This is a problem that's been going on for quite some time. So nothing really new here. A year ago, we had about 4,400 homes on the market throughout Hampton Roads. Now we have about 4,000. So we're down about 8%, a little bit more than that. And it hasn't impacted things too, too much because those numbers aren't so far off. So we're still struggling with the idea of getting buyers out to go look at properties and to find the right fit for them. And now that their cost to get into that property has dramatically risen due to interest rate increase, we're starting to see that struggle even more. So now buyers whose buying power have come down, has, prices have stayed high. So with limited inventory and buyers getting less for their money, they're really starting to struggle to find the right home. So that's the biggest issue that I'm seeing for myself right now. I'm getting out there with buyers who are maxing out where they can be financially and they're just really disappointed with what they're seeing. And we're waiting a long time between properties hitting the market for them to go see. You know, It used to be, hey, we're ready to start going and look at houses and here are 10, let's go look at these 10. Now it's, hey, here are two. And if you don't like those two, we're waiting for the next one and then waiting for the next one. And that's been ongoing for a while now. So that's not really anything new, but you know, what we would much rather see would be inventory increase so that then that can match, that can balance demand better. But instead, we're just seeing that the interest rates are really bringing things down, which at the end of the day is just going to cause a decrease in total transactions. And that really is what we're starting to see. So in September of 2022, both pending and settled sales were way down over what they were in 2021, over 23% down in both cases. So where does that leave us? Really, we're still in a seller's market in Hampton Roads. It's not what it was before. It's certainly much more balanced than it was. But if you have a nice home and you properly price it, you will sell fast still. There's a lot of demand out there for good homes. 
One of the biggest problems we have throughout Hampton Roads is aging inventory. And the people that have done the updates to get their home to where it needs to be for the next generation, they're selling fast. The homes that are not updated properly and that need a lot of work, well, due to those rising interest rates, higher payments, people don't have the cash on hand quite as much to be able to afford to do those updates themselves. So we're starting to see those properties sit a little bit. You know, we're seeing some price reductions, which we hadn't seen for the prior two years, and we're seeing days on market go up. Now, average days on market is still very low. It's under two weeks, but it used to be like three days. So it's a huge shift. And you know, when you're seeing a beautiful home in a nice neighborhood that's been sitting on the market for 20, 30 days, that is a big indicator that the market has shifted towards becoming a buyer's market. Now, as I mentioned, it is still a balanced market because inventory is really low. People around here still want to buy a home. So if you're a seller, it is still a good time to sell a home. You just need to properly price it and you need to understand that the activity level is just going to be a lot lower than it was previously. And if you're a buyer and the interest rate and the payment is still fine with you, then it is actually a better time to buy than it was because now you're probably not going to have to compete with six or seven other offers. You may still have to compete with maybe one other person, maybe two, but it's a lot better than six, 10, 20 offers that we were getting on properties before. In some cases, you may even get things like some closing cost assistance or home inspection repairs that we haven't been seeing for the last couple of years. That's certainly not a guarantee, especially if you're going after a properly priced, properly updated property. You're going to still have to put your best foot forward and go get it. But it's a much better situation overall for buyers in terms of competition than it was before. And most likely, you're not going to have to bid way over asking price for most properties in Hampton Roads right now. So one of the worst things you can do as a seller right now is to overprice your property. The days of getting those eight or 10 offers that are gonna way bid up your house are probably over. So if you want to see that kind of competition, you need to price aggressively. But also, if your house sits on the market, buyers are starting to take advantage of that. We're starting to see requests for new roofs be put on, big price reductions, closing cost assistance. If you don't want to deal with that kind of stuff, you need to price properly. And that might mean that just because your neighbor's house sold for $350 the other day doesn't mean that you need to price it at $350. Maybe they were on the market at $340 you need to price at 340 and maybe you will still get bid up to 350 but if you start at 350 there's a chance that you sit and then people start being aggressive with their offers towards you it's totally up to you if you want to do that but my recommendation would be to try and market at what they did and then try still try and generate a lot of interest at that price point and then we have new construction Let's face it, Hampton Roads just doesn't have a lot of new construction. So sales are down 6.67%. That's only from 255 transactions in September 21 to 238 this year. So it's not a huge difference. The bigger issue with new construction is that we just don't have a lot of new homes to sell people. You know, the really the biggest areas for expansion are Chesapeake and Suffolk, and they have a lot of work to do with infrastructure in order to increase schools. You know, they're running out of school space for, you know, if you want to build a thousand home subdivision, you have to have the schools, you have to have the utilities. And then that is really what they need to work on in order to be able to expand. And we need builders to come in and build. Hopefully over time, we do start to see the problems that builders are running into start to ease up, like supply chain issues, for example, and give them the opportunity to build the new neighborhoods that we do need in the region. Most of the cities around here are pretty big built up and there isn't a lot of room for expansion. So places like Chesapeake and Suffolk, Isle of Wight, those are really gonna be the target areas for expansion in Hampton Roads. But we have a long way to go to meet the demand that we have for housing. And really we just need a lot more modern housing. So I would expect to see those new construction numbers remain low for the foreseeable future. There's no real reason for us to expect any time soon for those numbers to make any sort of large leap. Because the problem isn't that people aren't buying the new construction, it's just that we're not building it. 
Now, all that being said, we are still seeing a price appreciation of about 5.8% year over year. So it was 293 this time last year, and now we're up to 310 for a median sales price in Hampton Roads. And, you know, that's actually a good thing because it was 10 and 12% earlier in the year. So knowing that that is coming down a little bit is really going to help people still be able to maintain and afford new homes. You know, we'd like to see that actually even come down a little bit more. Ideally, two or 3% right now would be great because we can't see prices continue to get too much higher in this area in addition to the interest rates without just completely pricing out everybody. Now, the other thing I don't want to see are prices really come down because homeowners have built up a lot of equity in their homes and that's great for them. They're able to leverage that equity with, you know, take out a HELOC to pay for renovations, pay for uh, college, pay for a lot of different, you know, pay for investment properties. So there's a lot of opportunity there when you have great equity in your home. So we certainly don't want to see prices come down, but getting to a more balanced position where homeowner home appreciation is is at a minimum is great. So coming down 5.8% in September year over year, um, you hopefully we'll continue to see that come down a little bit more, keep housing as affordable as possible so that we can keep a steady flow of home buying and selling because that's really what's best for the area. Well, that's our market report for October 2022. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. If you're looking to buy or sell a home here in Hampton Roads, just give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'd love to help you out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and then subscribe to this channel and share this video with anyone else you know who may be interested in making a move here in Hampton Roads. My team and I are on standby waiting to help. Again, my name is David Tortellini. I'm with eXp Realty. Thank you so much for watching.